Yo, 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 good people, it's your homie, Erdman, busting you back upside the head with another hot banger boogie. So all my ladies ask me all the time, yo, Erdman, how can you help me with these hot flashes, okay? So we got to first understand what menopause really is and what it is doing inside of the body, right? You know, now menopause is basically the end of your cycles, okay? It's the end of your cycles. You won't release eggs anymore, okay? And the hormones that are normally going to be working in this particular facet is going to be progesterone and estrogen. Now, unfortunately, you're not producing a lot of estrogen any longer, and that can lead to some other issues. Estrogen is going to be very important to your heart health and to your bone health as you move forward. So mineralizing the body. Okay, mineralizing the body when you're going through this phase is going to be very important for you women out there dealing with these menopausal issues. Okay, now on top of that, uh, menopause normally starts at 45 to 55. Some people can get them as early as 40 years old. Okay, and uh, so it's, it's not the happiest time of a young woman's life when you have this reduction in estrogen. It could take away the, the, the sexual uh, response of, you know, it could have headaches attached to it, back aches attached to it, the hot flushes could attach to it, night sweats attached to it. Uh, you know, it can have a uh, low libido attached to it. Um, it can have um, insomnia attached to it, lack of focus or concentration. Uh, there are just a lot of different things, painful breasts. Um, you can have di discomfort in your, in, in your vaginal area. I mean, there's a slew of different things that happen here, right? And it could be all due to the symptoms of this particular uh, phase in the woman's life. Also, you can start having uh, scanty cycles, right? To where they're just either not coming at all or coming too long or you don't know when they're going to be coming. All of these things here are symptoms of the menopause, all right? And so what we have to do is make sure that we're ruling out certain issues uh, that do pertain to uh, other things. Like sir, sometimes hot sweats could be because of the thyroid okay sometimes the heart situations could be due to tachycardia okay um you know sometimes uh, uh what else is there's another one there uh sometimes uh the 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 lack of sleep or maybe even the tiredness right could be due to anemia all right, so we gotta rule out anemic situations, we gotta rule out thyroid situations, and we gotta rule out heart conditions that could be pertaining to other things. And then once we're able to rule those things out, then we can know that we're dealing with uh, straight up and straight down these menopausal symptoms. Because again, like I said, you know, you could be having a lack of concentration, you could be having, you know, heavy bleeding due to fibroids, and maybe not necessarily due to menopause, okay? Uh, you could be having these weight issues and stuff like that and these night sweats due to thyroid and maybe not menopause, although it could be from menopause, it could be from something else. So once we're able to rule out some of these other things here, okay, then we can kind of get to exactly where we need to be, okay? Now remember, you guys, that once you're not producing estrogen any longer, that can start to cause you to feel certain ways, right? and be irritable all the time and, and stuff like that, right? So we have to make sure that we are helping the body out, combat with all of this loss of things happening in the body, right? If you got anemia, we gotta build up the iron, okay? If you have thyroid issues, we gotta build that back up for you, okay? If you're having uh, heart situations, it could be due to a lack of estrogen because again, estrogen helps out with heart health and bone health. If you're dealing with osteoporosis, we need to make sure that we help build this back up. And one of the great things that we're going to be able to provide for you women is the menopausal blend. Okay. So we have put together, strategically put together herbs that can help you out if you're dealing with straight up and straight down menopausal symptoms, or even if you got thyroid issues, anemic issues, and heart issues, et cetera, et cetera, we can help those out as well. But this video is particularly for my women out there that are dealing with menopausal issues and want to get a stop of it. Right now, the herbal kingdom is the way to go. Remember, you guys, I love you, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Go tell somebody to go tell somebody about your homie herb, man. And until next time, love herb, man.